feels great to win a title, you know, again, and uh, <clears throat> not under the circumstances, obviously. I wish Nikolai could have finished, you know. Um, I think it's the first time in my life I played the finals and uh, somebody gave up, you know. So that's 70 or 80 finals I've been in. Um, I guess when you put yourself into the position, you know, so many times it's, uh, it's going to happen eventually, but uh, you don't hope for it. And um, it's unfortunate Nikolai did get the injury, you know, at the end of the first set. And um, it was cool and cold conditions, you know, with the wind and with the sweat. So I'm not surprised, you know, because you always feel the body a bit more, you know, when, when it's such conditions. But for me, it's a, it's a great start to the clay court season. Um, it's a title on clay, you know, I haven't won in a while. And... Uh, First time here, first time I win. It's it's just it's just great. Look, um, I usually plan quite a bit in the, uh, quite a bit ahead. You know, um, obviously dep depends on Davis Cup a little bit. Always you got to take that in consideration. Um, see how I finished it this year, you know, so I guess um, it's something that's going to be a little bit, maybe a little bit more short term than, than this time around, but, uh, you know, the experience here was for me really nice, uh, people really friendly, um, I think the venue is nice, except that maybe, you know, they could definitely change the, the center court, you know, to a, not a temporary center court, but a real one, you know, I think this tournament really deserves it, and the way it's organized and run for us players, it's very, very nice, and uh, so you put all these things together, um, it's definitely a place I would love to come back and play, you know, it just depends if, you know, the scheduling allows it. Did working with, uh, with your new coach help? Yeah, I mean, the results showed right away. I'm a different player now after one week, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, it's 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 a good week for me to start off with, you know, and... Uh, you know, he's happy for me, I guess. I haven't even seen him yet after the match, but, you know, you go match by match, you hope to play well, and... Um, there's not a whole lot we could work on this week, you know, but thank God, you know, he didn't uh, uh, confuse me, you know, which was a good thing. So now we're off to Monaco and we hope it's going to be another another good week over there. What did Nikolai say to you when he retired? Yeah, he felt something at the end of the first set, you know, in the back, in the back of his leg, I think. Um, I would also see him holding it, you know, at the, at the change events before he took the injury timeout. So, um, um, I mean, it's unfortunate, you know. Um, he just said, you know, he's sorry. I congratulated him on a on a great run he had, you know, from Miami Davis Cup and here now. And then it's just a, a pity, you know, for both of us to finish this way because I wish I could, um, you know, celebrate a win differently with a nice match point or something, you know, like this. You walk to this to the change of ends and all of a sudden he shakes your hand. So it's kind of a, it's maybe not the. How do you say the peak of you know emotions at that point? But uh, I'm still very proud and happy that I I, I was able to win this tournament. Hi, Roger. Uh, how do you feel uh, with the clay court game one week? Um, well, I think the first match gave me a lot of information what I was doing right and wrong. Um, adjusted quite a few things after that first set. Um, I think uh, conditions against Hanesco were tough, you know, in the rain. Um, you yeah, really have to go match by match, and the weekend was crazy. It was the wind, and you know I had to come off a couple of times against uh, against Gilles, you know, and then after that it was just so windy, you know, with no interruptions, but just really hard to play. And today I thought it was the, was the toughest conditions, you know. You can't chase the lines anymore at all, you know. You try to keep the ball in play, and it's just not easy to play aggressive tennis, you know. So it's you, it's more of a game, a waiting game for the mistake and. Uh, it's also hard to serve well, you know, and uh, those conditions are tough, you know, but I guess now if you get normal conditions, you'll play so much better. And for this reason, I, you know, I'm happy with my game because the, the conditions were very tough this week. Uh, Roger. Where? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have your priorities changed for this year? Because I know in the past you said you focused on your preparations for Wimbledon usually. This year, is it about the French Open? And does this make this event much more important for you? Um, never said preparation for Wimbledon is important because there is none. <laughs> so, um, 
I always got plenty of time ahead of the French Open, so this year there's just a little slight change. Obviously, me playing an extra tournament. Uh, this was the one here, so I'm happy. It sort of, it paid off already. Um, I'm definitely not going to be running after matches too much, which was a problem still two months ago when I didn't have enough matches and you know just because of my injury, because of my sickness, and the whole thing looked a little bit more up in the air now with a tournament victory and you know enough matches on clay already and. Some other guys like maybe Nadal and maybe Djokovic haven't even played on uh, on clay yet. You know, now already have five matches. It's just a it's a good start for me. And uh, Wimbledon is always number one in my heart. That will never change. But I'm obviously aware of that the French Open is the one I haven't won yet. And for this reason, it will maybe create bigger news around the world than winning Wimbledon. But uh, probably not in my heart. So. Um, I think the people, people are really friendly. Um, I had a great, uh, great experience. Um, I didn't have much memory of Espina when I was back there playing a challenger. Um, when I came here for the Loris Awards, you know, in, uh, to Estoril, the, the trip was in and out. So this time around, I really could get to know the people, you know, and uh, and the fans were really friendly, you know, patient as well, you know, they weren't crazy, but in a good way, they were really, really nice all week and. Uh, I enjoyed spending time with them, signing autographs, and even talking to them. Some of them. So, um, I think that was uh, the biggest plus, and I guess the biggest compliment I can give this country. Is that a relief to have won a Not really. Um, for some, I think it's great. It's a huge breakthrough or something. I don't feel this way. You know, um, I look at the big picture. The big matches are coming up. You know. It's from the French Open till after the US Open where really it's going to matter the very, very most. And if I lose there, I'm disappointed. If I win there, I'm going to be delighted. This is, uh, this is a great start to the clay court season. Um, not to underrate, not to overrate. It's just a, it's just a good start. And um, I'm happy it started here in Estero. Uh, anything else? More questions?